do, 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 do. In the year 2027, the Nazi party has once again risen to power. Their reach has now spread beyond Europe. America exists in a police state with the SS scavenging the land for their new prey. No longer are the Jews the target of their wrath. In the year 2027, the Nazis are hunting jerks. Hey, fag face. Shitter's broke. Are you serious? Yeah. There's poop water all over the floor. I just unclogged that. What have you been eating? I ate all those nachos in the kitchen. Those were my nachos. I was saving those nachos. Finders keepers, brah. You know, I really wish that you would appreciate the risk that I'm taking here. Too bad. Look, if they find you, I'm going to get in just as much trouble as you are, you know? And I don't want to come down on you. I like having you here. I just, I wish you would respect my house. Do you want some cheese with that wine? I don't even know what that means. Nazis! Oh shit, it's, it's the Nazis. Who? It's the fucking guys that are coming to, just get in the closet. Please get in the closet? Please get in the closet or we're gonna die. Thank you. All right, but I'm only staying there for five minutes tops. Your closet sucks. Hello, we are your local Nazis. We apologize for the intrusion, but we received a tip that you are harboring jerks here. <laughs> you did? Really? No, guys, sorry, no, no jerks here. Oh, I noticed that you have left some pornography out on your living room table. Yeah, that's, um, that's mine. That's my stuff. This is not your run-of-the-mill pornography, even. This is some very heavy stuff. Whips. Lactation. You know, in some of our research, we have found that jerks tend to leave their hardcore pornography laying all over the place. Yeah, but see, I just didn't know that you guys were, were going to be coming over, so that's... That's why that's mine. So, are you a jerk? Am I a jerk? No. <laughs> I'm not at all. I'm, I'm not. I'm your, you know, I'm more like your meek, kind of shy pervert. And, you know, right before you guys came in, we were, I, I, I was getting ready to masturbate with that stuff. To jerk off? Jerk off? No. <laughs> no, to Hitler off, really. Good. Very well. Come, Hans. Let us continue our search for the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, very well. Safety. What was that? I was just saying, have a safe trip. I do not think you are wishing us a safe journey. I am thinking that you are hiding a jerk here! No, I'm not. <laughs> There's not a jerk here. Then you wouldn't mind if we were to release a nerd into your house, would you? A nerd? <laughs> Guys, there's, there's no reason to bring a nerd here. Nerd! Here! Oh, God. Woo! It's so cold in the car, but I didn't want to roll down the windows with all the allergens in the sky and everything. And I heard on AM radio that... Nerd! Silence! Go be nerdy around the house. Start by the closet. Okay, I mean, I really don't know what you guys want me to do. Oh, just be yourself. Talk about whatever comes to your mind. Well, it's damp in here. Oh. 
Hey, do you guys want to hear about the new webcomic that I'm writing? It's about the talking heads, and they go around solving all these mysteries, just like in the X-Files. Oh. Do you guys want to see my impression of Heath Ledger's Joker? My closet! All right, Jack! They know you're in there! You're coming with us! All right. I'm gonna come out of the closet. But not, like, come out of the closet. Because, like, I'm totally into chicks. In fact, I suck it. But not, like, suck mine. But, you know, whatever. Get in the car. Shotgun! Ugh! They always get me with that one! The jerks always call shotgun. Good job, Wildcats! We're the champs! Hey, you guys played a great game, and now we have the Rivercrest Divisional Trophy! Awesome! All right! All right, great game, guys. Guess what I went out and bought us? An even bigger trophy! Yeah! Ah, oh, never mind them. We know in our hearts that we won, and that's all that matters! Yeah! Yeah! Guess what else I got? A trophy for each one of us! Yeah! That way, we each get to take something yeah! home! Yeah! Cause that's all that matters! Yeah! 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 Do we each get trophies? No, we don't each get trophies. Yeah! That coach is just a... a jerk. Guess what else? Last week I called the pizza place and they said after the game, we each get a personal pizza for free. Yeah! 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 Woo! Yeah! We're number one! We're number one! We're number Did one! Did you call the pizza place? No, I didn't call the fucking pizza place. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Morales. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you some breaking news. A bank heist in the downtown area has gone horribly wrong, resulting in a shootout with police officers in broad daylight. We go now live to Robert Harris with our Eye in the Sky, Chopper 3. Robert, what can you see? Well, as you can see below me, the suspects fled the scene in a white Ford Taurus, and they are moving recklessly fast. I mean, you just have to hope to God that they don't hit one of these other motorists down there. Robert, about how fast do you think the car is going? Extremely fast, Brian. I'd say in excess of 80 miles an hour. I mean, I can really see by the way that they're swerving in and out of the... What the... That's Meredith's car. Uh, Robert, what's going on with the pursuit there? She said she was going out of town for her grandmother's birthday. Robert, the, the car? Oh, uh, 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 uh. I should have known. I should have known. So, so what's up with the pursuit, Robert? Nothing changes. Once a cheater, always a cheater. How could I have been so stupid? Okay, uh, Robert, we're just gonna have to switch to another feed now. No, so. no, 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 no. I want all the people at home to hear what a low-life gutter whore sounds like. I'm calling her. Okay, Casey, let's cut the feed. You kill that feed and I'll crash this helicopter straight into the newsroom. You know me, Brian. You know I'll do it. Okay, Casey, let's keep the feed going. Let's keep the feed on. Pick up the phone. Pick it up. Hello? How's it going, bitch? What? I said, hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. How's Grandma? Oh, she's fine. You know Grandma. Put her on for me. What? I said, put her on. Oh, you're breaking up. You know what? I, I gotta go. Grandma's about to blow out her candle. Meredith. I love you. Okay, now. Gotta run. I said, I love you. Thanks. Bye. Uh... Well, 
Seven years, four months, and twenty-two days of not drinking down the hatch. Cheers, Meredith. Hey, Robert, uh, <clears throat> maybe we should uh, just take a breath here and uh, let's bring the chopper down and call it a day, okay, buddy? Oh, I'll bring the chopper down, all right. I'll bring it down right on top of her fat, cheating face. Robert, I... Meredith, really now is not a good time to be calling. Yeah, no shit he suspects something. He's watching you. No, I mean he's working right now and he's watching you. No! Don't come here. Meredith, do not come here. Don't lead him here. So long, baby. Till death do us part, right? Casey, cut the feed. Just cut the damn feed, okay? Ready for your close-up skate? Meredith, get out get of the ready car! To taste blade! Admiral Akbar! In other news, let's go now live to Karen Atwater with this week's movie review. Thanks, Brian. The Invisible Dog 2 is a delightful film that will have you and your young pups begging for more. I give this happy tale to paws up. Woof woof, you'll say, as you roll over at this fetching arf venture that's sure to win best in show. You won't want to give this movie the doggy door. No, no, you'll want to sit Stay and watch it over and over again. Bow wow. <laughs> Jesus, Karen, if you didn't want the assignment, you should have just said something. It's not my door. It's not mine. Well, someone's door is open. <sighs> sorry. Hang on. One more time. Sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Look, it's not your door. Does everybody have their seatbelts on? I do. I don't. Yes, you do. Can you unlock my window? No, I can't unlock your window. We're about to take off. Unlock my window? No, we're about to go into space. You can't roll your window down. I'm not going to roll my window down. Then why do you need me to unlock it? Do you guys hear that dinging? I want you to unlock it because you're not the boss of me, and I like to have control of my own window. Um, yes, I am the boss of you. That's what commander means. And no, I'm not unlocking your window. Well, turn the AC on then. See? You were going to roll your window down. Maybe that dinging is because the trunk is open. Spaceships don't have trunks. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go. Moving on to the second issue is that recently it's come to my attention that I'm not particularly sure what it is that we do here. Well, this is an office. We do business. Yeah, we're businessmen. Right. Well, we are that. But, um, what kind of business do we do? We manufacture and sell staplers. I mean, right? Well, we used to sell staplers, but we've kind of farmed that out to uh, different independent contractors, so we don't really do that anymore. Well, we sell the staplers then. No, that's really more of a retail chain kind of thing. Well, we sell the staplers to the chain. No, that's several different distro companies spread across the country. Well, we keep tabs on all that. No, we actually found a cheap managerial firm in Indonesia that takes care of the day-to-day -day operations, so... No. Well, we're... we're headquarters. Well, we are headquarters. So. 
Okay. Woo, let's go. No, no, sit down, sit down. Johnson, we'll start with you. <clears throat> what is it that you actually do here? I will often keep an eye on Matthews and make sure he does not surf the web. He does do that, sir. He's on me like a hawk. Matthews, what is it that you do here? Well, I uh, pretty much just uh, surf the internet. Johnson, when you're not getting on Matthews about the internet, what else do you do here? I tend to take a shit after lunch. Mm. Then sometimes I will pretend to have a cigarette break and I'll actually just go down to the Barnes and Nobles, hang out there. Read anything good while you're there? No, I don't really read anything. I just kind of sit on the sofas. Call me crazy, but uh, I always thought that we design and produce dream catchers. Go on. Well, this is what I've been doing for 40 hours a week for about seven years now. In fact, I've been meaning to ask when we're going to have our big pitch meeting. Timmy, I don't think that we've ever had anything to do with dream catchers. I have come in on Christmas three times. Bruce misses me. Oh, sometimes I walk around the office with a folder. Wilson, what is it that you do here? Right. You know what? I don't think that any of us really need to be here. <sighs> Sir, um, where will we go? Yeah, we gotta go somewhere. I mean, I guess I could get a job at the Barnes & Nobles, but then <laughs> where am I gonna have a smoke break? This is where we go. All right. This is the place that we go. Fine. Okay. All right. Everybody, back to whatever. I'm gonna have a cigarette. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody, for coming out. The President of the United States will be out shortly to inform everyone of the amazing new discovery that we've made. Is everybody ready for this? We've discovered a brand new color. Yes. What does this new color look like? Uh, it's kind of a mix between red and blue, but it's not purple. Is it indigo? No, it is not indigo. Are you sure it's not purple? <laughs> We're sure it's not purple. This is a completely new color that has never been seen before. Is it maroon? Um, I don't know what what is maroon. This. This is maroon. Um. <clears throat> uh, yeah. It's maroon. Um, well, since he's here anyway, um, the, uh, President of the United States. Well, I feel like an idiot. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming. It's so nice to have a great turnout for Billy's christening. I can't believe he circumcised his cat. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to do it, and then he just fucking did it. I'm sorry Billy's being a hump at his own party. I don't know where he's run off to. I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. Dun -dun -dun -dun. <laughs> Predator. Terminator. Terminator. Awesome. Time to test this thing out. <laughs> Nice, it works. Come check this out, best friends. Don't call me that. It's my secret bathroom camera. 
Their secret what? Oh! oh. There go his pants. Oh, this is disgusting. Well, at least it's Sam. No, man, it's disgusting because he mounted a camera in his bathroom. Uh, yeah, for home security. You started in the bathroom? Darren, I'm having a party right now. I think it's weird that Sam takes his pants all the way off to take a dump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Old shit pants Craig are over here. No, I just think it's, it's weird that he would wait so long to take his pants off. Okay. <laughs> Mister, get out of the way. I gotta take a poop in a hurry. I'm a busy man. I take busy poops. Look at me. I'm Zach. I hate parties. I'm going to the closet. Mom, can you come pick me up? The guys are being jerks again. And check it out. There's a camera inside the toilet, too. Don't do it. Oh, oh, my oh. God. It's, oh. it's a pooping butthole. Jesus, turn it off. Yeah, or at least zoom out so we can tell it's Sam. Isn't this a great party, you guys? No, Timmy, <laughs> this is terrible. Seriously, turn it off. OK, fine. I'll switch it back. You know, that's really messed up, man. You invaded Sam's privacy. I know. And look at this. There's TVs in there. I can make Sam watch porn. Uh -huh. Why would you make him watch porn? I'm sure he's not going to. Oh. Oh. Go, go, Gadget, come! Well, looks like he finished. Woo! You're all out of toilet paper and tissues, and you probably should get a new bath mat. I gotta go to the bathroom. Wait, Trevor. Hey, Sam, watch this. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do.